Well, hello and welcome to our F1 Manager Team Lotus Series as we are getting very much in to this 2025 season and we are heading to round six and Miami in this episode. But if you've not checked out the last one and you are following this series, make sure you do before I drop the spoiler, which I'm about to do. So hopefully you've you've left this video because last time out, what an amazing result for us. We are now podium achievers here at Lotus with Daniel Ricciardo achieving that amazing E2 in Jeddah. And as you can see there, the plus 18 points from that result. And yeah, we got a little bit lucky with the safety cut. Well, I say lucky. We were running in second anyway. We had a couple of seconds to Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris. Max was chasing down after doing a two-stopper. I think the two-stop strategy didn't work, so Max and Carlos Sainz and Piastri maybe would have stayed ahead of us if they one-stopped, but only that was the strategy that he went to. So we were a net second place anyway. The safety car effectively just froze the race, and we came home under the safety car to secure second place. I do feel confident with that two-second margin to Charles and Lando that we could have maintained that. It just depends if Max would have got past them quickly. I think he was about three seconds back. But nonetheless, the pace was very good from us. Very slow first stint, but the second stint, Ricardo came alive and well and truly deserved that second place. And that's off the back of the upgrades, the new chassis and front wing, working wonders. And hopefully we'll be able to get them on Liam Lawson's car as well, who finished in P9 last time out but he was not running the two new upgrades that really propelled Daniel Ricciardo onto that podium. But as I say, 11 days till Miami. And if you are jumping back into this series and you're not already, please do subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video if you like the content and get involved down below in the comments. But let's push forward as we head to Miami. So we have our latest affiliate updates. So our original two Mercedes and Daniela continue to improve. Mercedes more so than Daniela there. And our new affiliate, Harvard Limblad. And we can see continue to increase there. Still 63 overall. Franco Colapinto up to uh, 56 on overtaking. And Aurelia Nobles as well. So a little bit of an update on there. But I don't think their overalls have changed just yet. Harvard Limblad, I wonder if he's in contention to replace Daniel Ricciardo. He's very young. And that might be the way to go. Put someone in who's very young. If we could get him up to about 70 rated before he gets into the car, that may be one to look out for when we make a decision on Daniel Ricciardo later in the year. But Daniel Ricciardo continues like this. It would be hard to refuse him a contract extension, but we shall see how the rest of this season goes. And talking about Daniel Ricciardo, no improvement there. Obviously, he is uh, getting into the twilight years of his F1 career here with Team Lotus and he did go down from 82 to 81 earlier in the season but no further decrease which is good uh, Liam Lawson continues to slowly improve an extra point on his smoothness which helps because that's what we're trying to improve his tyre management so that is very nice as well as overtaking so I think Liam Lawson's probably closing in and going up to 81 so I think in a few weeks months time Liam Lawson will be the same rating as Daniel Ricciardo but as you see the tyre management, this is where Daniel Ricciardo is really coming into his own against Lawson. 85 against 72. As actually Lawson is better on cornering and braking and control. Worse on smoothness and adaptability. Worse on overtaking and defending. And better on reaction. So it's this sort of middle part that he needs to improve. But certainly the smoothness more than anything. Crew training is done. What I do want to look at, we're being hampered really by Nicole Daniel's stats as our sporting director on the pit stop. So I'll have a look at if we can get a mid-season replacement here let's see do i just why have we got two really good sporting directors as free agents andy stevenson uh, diego loverno 92 rated a free agent i've got to go after this we have got to go after this haven't we Why is it saying that's a million? Oh, it's because we're replacing the top Nicole Daniels, so it will be a million dollars to break the contract, but I think it's worth doing. Let's give him 250 to sign on. So total cost of hiring will be 1.2 million. Is he gonna like that? He is indeed. Well, this is a Brucey bonus. We weren't expecting to get that high rated of a sporting director, but he's out of a job. So, as I say, still realistic, he's out of a job. The game presents the opportunity, and we are going to hire immediately 
and replace Nicole Daniels. It's going to cost us $1.2 million, but I think it's going to be more than worth it. And there we go. It's confirmed. I think I said Laverno, but I believe that's an I, actually. But Diego, nonetheless, is in. So Diego has joined the team as our new sporting director. Look at that. That's a boost in stats. What does that allow us? We could only max our stats to 56 previously. So what does that do now? Let's have a look. We can get them all the way up to 88 now. So this is going to make a massive difference for us as we progress this pit crew training. Okay, we have a new suspension design completed. So let's go ahead and manufacture that. And we'll go for three of those. It's going to take 24 days, eight days at a time. So we will get... Mm, we'll get one on the Saturday for Imler as well. What is rushed? No, that's fine. We don't want to waste the money too much. So let's go normal three days, $900,000. I'll free up another slot. I think we really need to focus on research because the changes are so significant. So we are going to have to do a lot of research. So what have we done so far? far Underfloor and a front wing. Right, so let us research side pods here. Put one CFD on it. Let's put, put 16 wind tunnel hours on there as well. Engine cooling we're not too fussed about. Let's go with that. One engineer and another million dollars for that one. So very much heavily into research already very early on the season. But those changes are very significant. As we can see here in the rules and regulations, every part is affected. And this is a 2026 change. So we want to try and make up as much of a deficit on this as we can. So by going after research now, that gives us the best chance of starting 2026 in a strong position. Okay, another design complete, this time the rear wing. So let us manufacture that as well. We will get this on the car by the time we get to Imola. I think we'll do four of those just to get them uh, a few spares as well. But that allows us another spare slot. Uh, I think to be fair, I'm going to go with another research for now. We haven't completed any on the rear wing yet, so let us do that as well. Then we might have to slow up a bit just because of the money situation. Right, let's go after that. One engineer again, $1.8 million for that. So actually four full projects on research now. So we're not going to be any doing, uh, we're not going to be doing any design for a little while now. Uh, Liam Lawson has now got the same car parts as uh, Daniel Ricciardo. So we're running the exact same car parts now. Obviously, we've got two new parts coming as well in that rear wing. And I believe it was side pods or suspension. But we won't get them till next race. So let's go night for hire with Daniel Ricciardo. Let's go 10 for hire with Liam Lawson as we head to Miami and begin practice. Fuck his green. Fuck his green. Here we go then, both drivers out in practice one. Worth mentioning, this is a sprint race weekend, so we've only got this first practice session to nail these setups, and then we'll be straight into a sprint qualifying, sprint race, then the qualifying, then the full race. So let's see if we can uh, hopefully smash these practice, uh, these practice, these setups very early on here. Here we have it then, our one and only practice session completed in Miami. And of course, track acclimatization is down, but good work on Daniel Ricciardo's side of the garage with his setup at 88%. Car parts knowledge, 90% for both. Liam Lawson, his final setup, we managed to get to 70%. So we've adjusted that before we went into Park Ferme. So hopefully these next changes, once we uncover that setup satisfaction, we'll get him into at least the 80% sort of range because, uh, yeah, 70%, a bit on the low side. So we'll... Uh, Discover that hopefully as we progress through sprint qualifying. But as we have it now, 
Daniel Ricardo, 76% driver preparation. That will increase as his track acclimatization goes up. Liam Lawson, 32%. Again, that will increase as track acclimatization increases and we uncover that setup satisfaction. So let's jump into sprint qualifying and see how we go. Here we go then. Sprint qualifying, of course, we can only use these medium tires. So we're going to send both drivers out very early. Let's hope that we can get a banker lap in without, although it'll probably be our one and only lap, without any traffic here but i think that's going to be very unlikely just considering what's come out of the garage there so we're going to come up to a big group of cars here here's poor chair mm, time has lost there i feel I feel we lost time there. It was a 33-3 for Daniel Ricciardo. 33-9 for Lawson. So Lawson lost more time, if anything. Okay, now I've got some got some traffic, so I think this lap this lap's aborted. Well, we're not gonna abort it, Danny Rick. We're gonna stay with it. We have got more traffic coming up here. So 20.9 middle sector, 21.2. So Lawson a long way off. Obviously, he's not set up very well in terms of the car setup as Lawson. But I think there was certainly traffic in that first sector. Now I've got a Ferrari who's going to start their lap. So, Daniel Ricciardo is going to come across the line here. We may well have to go back out here. It is a 128.6. We expect Lawson to be quite a bit off that. Yeah, 1.1 off. Yeah, and Sonoda's gone quicker, so we definitely need to get them back out. And there we go. Max gets out of the way nicely. So it was a 32.8. Daniel Ricciardo, 33.1 for Lawson. So as I say, I think Lawson's probably just struggling because his setup is not where we need it yet. Middle sector is a 20.7. Going green again is Ricciardo. So this is looking good. Uh, Lawson is in the drop zone, so we need him to improve. 20.7, it's a 20.9, so he's about half a second off at the moment. And there's going to be a little bit more traffic here. I think we should be good. As Joe is starting his lap, so hopefully that's not holding us up too much there. As Ricardo will come across the line. Let's go slower though, so maybe held up in that final sector, so maybe was held up a little bit, but overall goes quicker, and that should be good enough now for SQ2. Lawson, we need to improve. He does, but doesn't go quicker either in that final sector. And it may be touch and go then for Liam Lawson in SQ2. Let us see, checkered flag is about to fall. And still got drivers go on their hot laps here. And Lawson down to 14th, down to 15th. This is not looking good for Liam Lawson. Not looking good at all, is it? So we've got Hulkenberg. We've got Alonso to go across the line. Hulkenberg. You'd expect Alonso to go quicker. He does. Hulkenberg, he's finished. Science goes quicker. Lawson is out in SQ1. Disaster for the Kiwi, Liam Lawson then. Got held up on that first lap. Took the tire life out, of course. So the second lap is always going to be a little bit harder in, in uh, sprint qualifying. And his setup's not where it needs to be. So, uh, unfortunately, Liam Lawson is knocked out in SQ1. So here we go, SQ2. Same again, we'll get him straight out. And most of the grid have gone out here. So this should be a cleaner lap. Although we're pretty close to Ocon here. Who is not the quickest of cars. But oh, we might get a lovely toe off him. Yeah, we may be benefiting from a toe. We are purple through that first sector. And we're remaining purple through that first sector. We've still got quite a few cars now just to go through that sector. Yeah, so it has now gone to green. But still, pretty good work from Daniel Ricciardo, I feel. As we open the DRS here then. And it's Ocon. Yeah, we did see it was Ocon ahead of us. 
So, Daniel Ricardo, through this last section then, let's see what time we set. This seems to be a much cleaner run in SQ2 than it was in SQ1, though. And Ricardo, 127.8, so 1.1 quicker okay, than Ocon clear. ahead of him there on track. Uh, Norris goes quicker by three temps. Uh, Alonso's obviously had a bit of traffic, 1.4 off. Gull and Hamilton set their times. I think this is going to be pretty good enough, pretty much good enough for SQ3, to be honest oh, with you. We're not going to go back out. We're feeling confident where we are. Got a good margin to the cars in the bottom six there, although Russell and Alonso are in there. They probably will improve. But here we go. Checkered flag. Ocon improves. Sonoda improves, but not enough to jump Daniel Ricciardo. Russell has improved out of the drop zone. Alonso just about the drop zone. Now it's waiting for Charles Leclerc, who would knock out K-Mag. But he doesn't, I don't think. I think Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. Yeah, he knocked out in SQ2. No other surprises there, really. SQ1, the surprise is Liam Lawson being knocked out. SQ2, Charles Leclerc is the surprise. And we are now into SQ3. Here we go then for Daniel Ricciardo's one and only run in SQ3. My only concern is we're quite close to Mercedes of Bottas, but K-Mag as well. And K-Mag's probably the slowest car in this SQ3 shootout. Uh, are we going to encounter any other traffic? No, I don't believe we will. Just if we close to Bottas and Magnus. I think hopefully there's enough of a gap here. Norris currently on provisional pole. Good couple of attempts to Max Verstappen. Well, we are starting to close to these guys ahead of us though. It's really costing Bottas because Bottas is right on the gearbox of Magnussen. We got on purple through that first sector. But we may get held up as we progress through this lap. Norris, Alonso and Sainz have finished. Yeah, this is where we're going to get held up now. Ah, uh, this is a bit of a nightmare now. We will get a lovely toe, but... We can't benefit from it because we're going to be too close to the gearboxes of Bottas and Magnussen. Where are we going to finish here then? Daniel Ricciardo is about to come across the line. It was a very good first sector. I feel the final sector won't have been great, but it's P2. But Daniel Ricciardo... Russell and Piastri yet to finish, but it's another P2 potentially and just under three hundreds off a provisional pole position there for Daniel Ricciardo. So that was a very good lap, so maybe the toe was beneficial. It's Piastri to come across the line first. He goes to P5. Here's George Russell. Is he going slow there? Yes, he is. So I don't think George is going to do anything here. He is not. That is sprint qualifying completed. And that is P2 for Daniel Ricciardo. Finished P2 last time out. Qualified P2. And he's qualified P2 here for the sprint in Miami. It's Lando Norris on pole. Daniel Ricciardo in second. Max Verstappen third. Fernando Alonso fourth. Oscar Piastri fifth. Valtteri Bottas sixth. Lewis Hamilton seventh. Kevin Magson eighth. Carlos Sainz ninth. And George Russell P10. We saw Charles Leclerc knocked out in SQ2. He'll start 11th. And Liam Lawson down here in 17th. Okay, let's get into this sprint then. I think I'm going to mix it up a bit with Daniel Ricciardo. Says medium's the quickest way round. But I feel he can make the softs work. I just feel they might be good at the start to try and pull away and see if we can just break the DRS and try and win the sprint, potentially. That's what I'm going with. It may not work, but it's all about taking risks. So we're going to go soft tyres with Ricciardo. A bit more conservative with Lawson. He's back in 17th. He's not good as good on his smoothness. So he's going to start in... In? He's not going to start in anyway. He's going to start in 17th, but he's not starting in anything apart from his Formula 1 car. He's starting on the mediums. So it's Daniel Ricciardo on the softs, Lawson on the mediums. Let's start the Miami Sprint Race. Here we go then, underway with Daniel Ricciardo starting in P2 in this one. And we're trying to take the lead of the race on Lando Norris. Come on, Danny Rick. Let's see what you've got in here. 
tire. So Norris is on the softs as well. So we're on the same strategy. I'm going to jump back to standard. We don't want to wreck our tires here. Lando is very good on tires as well. Max is on the mediums. Everyone else in the top 10, down to Char down to Teo Porcher on the softs. But is it going to work out for Max on the mediums? Back into the okay. DRS of Lando then. And actually, Max... Yeah, Max just had DRS on us. Is Daniel Ricciardo going to go for a move here on Lando Norris for the lead of the sprint race? It's on the inside. Lawson is getting past Sonoda at the same time. We can't watch that because we need to watch what's going on here. Daniel Ricciardo doesn't quite make that move stick. Can he do it into T1 here? Very unlikely. But he's looking at it on the outside. Didn't look like it was on, but they'll have inside now. We say unlikely. We don't know what we're talking about. Daniel Ricciardo leads the sprint race in Miami. Alrighty. And as we saw, Lawson getting up to 16th there. Max is just edging ahead of Lando there. That's now Max, the closest car to us. It's at seven tenths. He'll get DRS here. It's a long old straight, this one. So is this going to be enough of an advantage for Max to make a move for the lead? For a couple of car lengths ahead. Max is gaining. Ooh. Thought about it. Lawson is past Perez in the Williams. We're watching the action closely here. They decide to give it a go. Oh, that's a lovely little move there from Lawson. As Max is through on the inside for the lead. Okay. Uh, alrighty. So now Ricardo just needs to stick with him if he can. And Lawson does get Joe then on the start, finish straight into the first corner. On the outside, like his teammate did to Lando for the lead of the race earlier on. Next and Lawson is, is past Teo Porcher. It looks like Ocon got Teo Porcher, and now Lawson has. So Lawson making good strides. We are concentrating more on Daniel Ricciardo, of course. Here we go, Ricciardo, DRS again. On the outside. Pass Max Verstappen for the lead. Is Lando going to have a look as well? He is. He squeezes Max out a little bit. It's now Ricardo in first. Norris second. Verstappen third. This is going to keep swapping and changing, I feel. As Lawson is making the move on Esteban Ocon. Is he not quite... Esteban fighting it well. Now we're going to be back under pressure from Lando Norris on this long straight. Okay, so let's just catch up, right? Anyone down to Alonso, potentially, even Science Russell, Charles Leclerc could win this. As Lando, oh, again, it's very tight through there. It's going to be Lando who is through, though, into the lead of this race. Max has just dropped off a little bit there momentarily, but it looks like Piastri's passed him in straight into the DRS yep. of us. This is my pace. And Ricardo, though, has DRS only. He's got the inside line here. Piastri's coming around the outside. Ooh, had to get out of that. Ricardo takes the lead. It all starts as they reach turn 17. Lawson is past Ocon now, inviting. so he'll now have that nice clean gap to move up to Magnussen. As Liam Lawson is past K-Mag. So we've pulled, yeah, we've pulled uh, Ocon and Perez towards K-Mag. Now we're watching the action closely here. Can they squeeze by? The points in touching distance now. They're 11th. All right, Norwich takes the lead again then. So this is just going to keep swapping and changing, isn't it? Are we going to be in the fight for our first win of the season? Albeit a sprint race, of course. Uh, Lawson has just built up that DRS on Magnussen. Has he? Maybe not. Maxon's just about in the DRS, is he? Has he got DRS here, K-Mag? No, he hasn't, but he's still gaining with the slipstream. 
So it's becoming very hard to pull away there. So I think Lawson's going to be in the same position, really. Do a bit of light tyre work here. Take it easy. Lando goes defensive, but Daniel Ricciardo's <laughs> going to slip through on the inside again. I'm sure Lando will come straight back past us. We are just trying to save a bit of tyres as we're behind Lando to maybe have a tyre advantage at the end, but... At the moment, Lando and ourselves on the same tyre. Well, just dipped 1% below. Piastri and Bottas got 2% on ourselves and Lando. So, Ricardo and Lando na uh, matching themselves well in terms of tyre degradation. So, if Lando gets past us again, what we'll try and do is just see, uh, slip in behind him and uh, conserve the tyre life. But here he comes again. And Bottas is looking to make a move on Piastri here, behind us. Okay, Norris obviously back past see. Ricardo as we were expecting there. And Magnussen, I think, is going to make his way past Lawson. He does. But we need to concentrate on Daniel Ricardo here. Okay, so let's just catch up, right? As Ricardo again on Lando. Just manage your tires, please. Understood. You can again, go Again, we're back on to conserve here. Charge on. Yeah, Lando's took 3% extra out of his tires there. He makes his way past us. Oh, he's might pull a gap there. Okay, head down, no problem. Uh, that's fine. What we don't want to do is lose that DRS gap to him. Oh, he should be fine. We're back in. Just keep looking after your tires. Yep, understood. The DRS rear wing is open. As Daniel Ricciardo again looking at the move on Lando. It's very timid through there, but are we going to make it work? No, this isn't going to be great for us because Lando will get the DRS. Okay, to pick up the pace. Oh, we had DRS, I believe, there. Drop down the pace now. Okay. Off. So now Bottas behind us, who's got past Norris. Bottas on the same tyre life as ourselves, as Lawson and Magnussen continue to swap positions. On Bottas as DRS now. Right, here comes Bottas. So Bottas is past us. Yep, this is my pace. That was very close to breaking the DRS to uh, Piastri there. Doesn't quite happen. But here we go. Ricardo looking to make the move again. Through on Bottas. And we're back into the lead of this sprint with three laps to go. Our life is 53%. It's an 8% margin on Bottas. 4% on both of the McLarens. We have a bit of tyre life to push with here. Bottas likely to come back past us here. So we're fighting with Bottas here. What we don't want to do is lose out to Lando, of course. On update on tyres when you can. But we're still all over the back of Bottas here. Eight percent margin now. We're going to try and send it down the inside here on Valtteri Bottas. Lando Chargeon. looking on the outside of Bottas. A Piastri actually, sorry. It's Oscar Piastri who's through on Bottas. Good job. We've got 5% on Piastri.
Yasri's going to make okay, his way past us. us. In your DRS now. You're good to push. Manage your tires. Yep, understood. Yashri pushing away. We don't want that. Don't want to be out of the DRS. Okay, you can pick up the pace. I think we might have just been out of the DRS there. Well, this is going to be bad news here. We've fallen out of the DRS. Let's lift off, please. Let's go for a push. Got 6%. We're going to have to attack now. You're good to push. Piastri's got 1.3 on us. We need to close that. It's back to 1.1. Piastri starts his final lap. We're back into DRS now. Okay, this is last lap. You can consider a little bit of anti deploy where you can. Charge on. Charge on. Yep. You don't really want to get him on this DRS zone. Keep up the lift off. You're doing a very good job. It's 1.3 to Bottas. So it looks like it's going to be job. Daniel Ricciardo, Oscar Piastri for the win here. Battery is full. Okay. Okay, for charge off. Okay, for charge off. Okay, understood. We should have had DRS. We have got DRS. And we have margin to push a little bit more on the tyres. You can reduce lift off. Here we go, then it's come down to this. And you can pick up the base. For a win! For our first oh, win anymore. ever in this series, although it is a sprint race. Understood. Can Daniel Ricciardo get Oscar Piastri here? He's attacking on the tyres, he's pushing on the fuel, he's got battery. He will have DRS. Is there anything Oscar can do here? Daniel Ricciardo pulls out to the inside. DRS wide open. Through already into the lead. Daniel Ricciardo leads the sprint race in Miami. It's half a second to Piastri. Piastri, can he do anything around these final two corners? I don't think he can, as Ricciardo is going to round the final corner in Miami. And he wins the sprint race with the fastest lap on the final lap as well. It's our first win of the season. Thanks, guys. Daniel Ricciardo is back on the top step of the podium. He's ecstatic. We have won the sprint in Miami. Liam Lawson is going to come home in 11, it looks like. 11th place, right on the tail of Sainz in the end. So good recovery from Lawson, although it's no points. But it's all about Daniel Ricciardo, whose form continues with a win here in the Miami sprint. And there he is, is that the man right of Saturday. Daniel Ricciardo wins this sprint race in Miami on Saturday. What a race that was for us. Really good pace all the way through. There is the result. Look at that. Eight points for Daniel Ricciardo. Up one place from his P2 starting position to win this sprint race. It's Oscar Piastri in second. Valtteri Bottas in third, taking more points for his World Championship battle. Lando Norris fourth, Max Verstappen fifth, Lewis Hampton sixth, Fernando Alonso seventh, and Charles Leclerc rounds out the points in eighth. It's George Russell ninth, Carlos Sainz tenth, and then Liam Lawson up six places, so a pretty good race back there. We didn't see much of him as we are concentrating on Ricardo, but up six places to 11th for Liam Lawson. Oh, but here we go. We can calm down a bit now after that sprint. And we're out for qualifying here for the full race. So both drivers out. Let's go for these bank collapse. Hopefully not too much traffic. We can get a clean one in here to begin with. That might be enough to get us through to Q2. Although we're going hampered. I think Lawson's behind Hamilton. No, he wasn't. He was passing, I think. Let's see what the times are. 27-2. Okay, they're relatively sure close. On your way so either they were both held up or they both got Charge through safely box. there. Charge on in box. We'll see what the other lap times are and then we'll go back out if we need to. So everyone set a lap and we look very good indeed. Ricardo's P1 and Lawson P4. So we're not going to go out here in Q1. I think we should be safely through now. These upgrades really good for the car. This will probably be the best of our ability because we're really slowing up on design work now as check of flag is out so yeah we're safely free but yeah as i say we're slowing down on designs now so we might be in contention for some podiums potentially we got that sprint win are we in contention for a full race win potentially but as we get to the summer and beyond we should decline 
uh, back to probably fighting the Aston Martin because we're going to be concentrating on those big regulations for 2026. But let's jump in to Q2. Same again then, but this time we're on a scrub set. We'll see if the scrub set is enough to get us through. It has got Daniel Ricciardo through on a couple of occasions. Piastri just out. Did he hold Lawson up a little bit? Not sure. No. Charge They're within box. a couple of attempts Charge again of box, each box. other, so very good. Ricciardo Charge definitely good. got... Bit of pace over Lawson though, by a couple of attempts it looks like. We'll see again if that's going to be enough to get through to Q3 or if we'll have to go out on some fresh sauce. Right, I have decided to send them both back out. It was, we had a lot of top drivers down here and a lot of drivers on scrubs set of sauce. So Science, Bottas, Charles Leclerc in the bottom six there. Um, Hamilton, Russell, Norris. So there's a lot of drivers that could potentially go quicker on fresh sauce. I wasn't sure what the margin would be. So we're going back out, hopefully green sectors and that should get us safely both through to Q3. Ideally, Liam Lawson, we want to get through to Q3. There is a car he's now approaching. Oh, my. The sky is just... Oh. So that George? No, I believe it was Bottas there. And he may have held him up there. And we're not going quicker with either driver, so... It looks like we're going to be safely through anyway, though. One, two... Yeah, we're safely through. We're safely through. Abandon the laps. We'll abandon those laps. We'll save the rest of that tyre to go out on a scrub set in Q3. As we are safely through. Q3. Bottas is... Uh, Bottas out. I think Bottas is out here. He's on an in-lap. Valtteri Bottas is going to be knocked out in Q2. K-Mag in 16th as well. So real bad news, Valtteri Bottas, who's leading this Drivers' Championship, he'll be qualifying in P15. I believe Sainz is taking a penalty. Not sure how... Oh, that was for his collision, wasn't it, in the last race. So I think that'll be a three or five place grid penalty. So yeah, Bottas will start 15th. So work to do for him. Here we go then, Q3. Uh, Lawson has actually got a fresh set of sauce on. Daniel Ricciardo using a scrub set. They're a little bit close there, but Danny Rick's going to get a lovely toe off Lawson. But we'll see what we do in these first runs. Then we'll jump on board for the final runs of Q3. P2. This is good. I think Ricardo has just got a okay, hell wait, cool of a toe there, hasn't he? P1. Yeah, I think Ava Ricardo has just got an almighty toe there. That could be pole. That could very much be pole for us here. Here we go then. Final runs in Q3. I don't think Ricardo's going to go quicker. I think he got a mighty, almighty toe off Lawson, and that might be enough for pole, to be fair. We try to get Lawson the toe on Ricardo, but a Mercedes uh, jumped out in front of us in George Russell. So uh, I wanted Lawson to get the toe off the back of Ricardo. Not going to happen, though. It's a Red Bull getting out of the way of Ricardo. I think if Ricardo doesn't go quicker in this first sector, we'll see the second sector, but we'll probably bring him in, abandon that lap. As I say, I think it's unlikely he's going to go quicker. Lawson not going quicker either. There's a Red Bull very much parked out of the way there. We'll see what Ricardo does in this second sector. No, he's not going quicker, so let's call him in. So, Liam Lawson, what can he do? He's not going quicker either. We will let him finish his lap. But Liam Lawson has struggled a bit in qualifying across the last few races. So, uh, at least he'll be starting in the top 10 in this one. If he can get any further up, that would be absolutely brilliant. But let's wait and see as Ricardo, his teammate, gets out of the way after abandoning that lap. Here we go then, final couple of corners. Doesn't look like Lawson's going to improve, so it's going to be about what the rest of the grid does on their flying laps. Lawson to the line. Yeah, no improvement then. So we're now going to get checkered flag here. So we are P5. And it's just Ricardo finished. Charles has finished. He doesn't go quicker. I think Russell's in an in-lap though. Yeah, so Russell and Hamilton on in lap. So Lawson, I think, is at least in seventh place here. Verstappen goes to P2. Still seven tenths off Ricardo, who, uh, yeah, that toe was a bit OP, wasn't it? 
Norris up to P4. Alonso already ahead of Lawson. So I think Lawson is going to be at least P7. And Sainz has got a penalty anyway. So, well, actually, if it's a free place, then we might not be ahead of Sainz. So it's going to be 7th or 6th on the grid for Lawson, which is very nice indeed. But it is a pole position for Daniel Ricciardo. What is going on? These upgrades have been phenomenal since we put this chassis and front wing on. And Daniel Ricciardo backs up his sprint race win with a pole here for the full race. But it was due to an almighty toe of his teammate Lawson. As we can see here, seven tenths quicker than anyone else. But it's Daniel Ricciardo on pole, Liam Lawson in P7, as we begin the full race in Miami. So here we go, looking at the strategy before this one, and you'll see wet tyres. So look at this. It's going to get very wet from... The rain's going to start, it says at the moment, lap 18. But as we approach what, lap 22, it's going to be full wet. And it's probably going to be full wet for the whole race, unless that changes. So it's going to be a wet weather race here for the majority of this race, first 15, 16 laps, uh, up to lap 20, probably on the dry tyres. Then around lap 20, we're going to have to think about coming in on those wet tyres. So, it's tricky because you could potentially go softs if the rain... So, track graph says probably wets at what? Lap 22? But if it doesn't come... That's going to be a problem, so... Still says the medium is quicker anyway, to be fair. So that is the strategy to go with. So it's medium tyres for both drivers, and then going on to the wet compound tyres once the rain hits. So is the rain going to cause us issues here for Daniel Ricciardo side on pole? Will we perform better in the rain? Who knows? But it's all going to be about timing that first pit stop well. The benefit we've got is... Lawson is in 7th, Ricardo's 1st, so if there's a bit of a DRS train, we should still have enough of a gap to double stack, where some of the teams might not, and they'll lose out heavily. So, let's see how we go then, starting on pole with Ricardo, Lawson in 7th, starting on the medium tyres, and jumping over to the wet tyres once that rain hits the track. Look at that, it's a Team Lotus on pole for the first time. Lights out. As and we get underway we in Miami, Verstappen is in second. Ricardo pulls away nicely with clean start. And we can't forget about Liam Lawson, who is in seventh place as well. So that's the best start. We've got a yellow flag straight away. We've got a safety car straight away. Wow. Gasly and Ocon, the two Frenchmen, no longer teammates, but their hatred runs strong, it looks like. What has happened here then? Now <laughs> oh, that's it, guys. I got hit. Uh, I think Ocon was the one doing the hitting because he's in the Williams and he's absolutely oh, 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 smashed into the back of Gasly. Uh, Ocon's, yeah, didn't really fancy it today. Safety car, safety car. Right, let's just uh, turn everything down. Uh, this should just be Ocon sitting on the track, I'd imagine. Yeah, Ocon and Gazi look like they're both out of the race then. Ex-teammates, no love lost. Well, you can keep with your brakes, and that's maybe your one of the earliest safety cars we've ever had. Well, you have Red Bull Racing's old tech Actually, boss, full... McLaren's chief. Yeah, we've got okay, Pierre and Peter. Good. And we've also uh, got a new sporting director from Ferrari. So uh, we okay. wanted to have a look at replacing our sporting director because it was a sort of uh, AI-generated one. Uh, not an actual sporting director. And when I had a look, which will be out on this episode when we release it, uh, the ex Aston Martin and Ferrari sporting directors yeah, currently right, had no uh, jobs crash. or no contracts. So we've jumped you on that and made a room. massive upgrade in the sporting director position as well. So Team Lotus very much on the up and up. As I say, I don't expect these uh, this pace to last across the probably for the next few races, but then we'll be fully on to research. As Ocon's got a 10 second time penalty that will be applied as a grid penalty next time out then. Right, when will Danny Rick then decide to bolt? We're four laps in. We've not had any racing, really. Safety car has ended. Safety car is in. Now with Daniel Ricciardo now. Probably, I would say, leave it as late as possible, Danny Rick, but he's gone. So we're already down to 20 runners. Just four laps in. And that's before the rain hits. 
Now, big news in the driver championship here. Bottas was knocked out in Q2. He leads the driver's championship. As you see, he's bogged down there in 14th. Max could, uh, and the rest of the drivers, to be fair. It's not just between him and Max, but he could take a good dent out of that championship today. Van Dorn's locked up. He's at the back of the field now. Uh, Lando's on the softs, and that has worked out very well for Lando because the softs were touch and go to get to the wet weather. But with four laps under the safety car, he'll certainly make those last as Max looks like he's going to have a go on us here. No DRS, of course, for this first lap here. And Van Dorn gets worse for him after a lockup. He's now got a mechanical fault. Max having a look on the inside, but Piastri... Thinking about it on the inside on Max here. As Perez has got mechanical fault, we've got another yellow flag. Okay. Okay, now we have a Lawson's up to sixth. No, he's down to seventh. Sonoda's <laughs> locked up. It's all going Let's on here in Miami. Cars as they head into turn 10. The wheels just lock up there. Oh, big lock up from Yuki. I could do it. Now Alonso's past Lawson. Okay, so let's just catch up right. All right, looks like Max is going to make the move here on us. But that's fine if we can just stay with him in our DRS here. DRS will be activated across this next lap. So lap seven already. That seems to have gone very quickly indeed. And here we go again. I think this is going to be a bit of a squabble until the rain hits, really. Now, the good thing for us is... Well, I say good thing, but... What have we got here? Now the lead... Yeah, we've got three seconds between Ricardo and Lawson. So we can double stack. Whereas the McLarens Come wouldn't on. be able to. Uh, the Red Bulls probably would. Yeah, McLaren would be hampered if they have to double stack. So they either lose time double stacking when the rain hits, if it stays at this, or they leave a driver out. Okay, all right, Lawson has got past Sainz somewhere we here. We should be able to take a look here. Now, we're watching the action closely here. It's well, this is very taking. nice from Lawson. We've not seen much of him because we're trying to manage Ricardo out, uh, out in front. There's been another crash. Yellow flag. No safety car this time. Oh, Carlos Sainz. Uh, is there contact here? There is. Very minor contact. Oh. Sainz being a little bit dramatic about it. We have George Russell there. But yeah, Bottas is not really making great strides, is he, back there? Right, I wonder if we could try and have a little push with Ricardo. We kind of need Max to get past us here, though. Actually, we've, we've got a bit of a gap on Max here. Keep pushing. Russell Sainz, no okay. penalties okay. given for that instant. All right, we're going to try and push, but we've basically got okay. these few corners to get a second before we get to that DRS. It's not going to happen. Max all over us. It's Max suddenly started pushing as well at the same time there because... All right, we may okay, as well... Okay, currently uh, P1. Max coming now. We might as well cool that off because we weren't going to get the full second there. Right, it's now Lando in second. And Charles has dropped about two seconds back. Uh, Rain, I think it's moved one lap later now, potentially, but still around that lap 18. But yeah, that would be uh, that would be some kind of scene, wouldn't it? If Lewis uh, crashed, had an incident with Max in the final race that won Lando the uh, championship. Oh dear, pandemonium! Right, Lando's going to make the move on Ricardo. Max has just fallen a second out, so can ourselves and Lando try and move out? Although I think Max still had DRS, so although he's a second out. He wasn't before the... Uh, okay, he still go got the it. DRS detection before that second out. So, so it's very hard to break that DRS round here. We probably want to go aggressive. We do want to stay with Lando here. You're good to push. 
this straight is the one. Look, we're nearly a second back ourselves here. But look how much we'll gain by the time we get to this corner. So it does drop to a second. So it's 1.2 there. By the time we get to the corner, it nearly took four attempts out. So it gained us four attempts. But Lando's definitely pushing, trying to break this one second. But you get another DRS here, and that's why it's so difficult to break DRS. Lando sets the fastest lap. Uh, we've got DRS, and we used a bit of battery, and we're back within half a second of him. And Lawson... Let's take a look at the replay. Doing some good work down there. The action closely here. The He's having a battle with uh, Leclerc taken. and Alonso, I think, who's this group of cars behind this top four. And the overtake is made. And Ricardo, now he gets DRS back so he can return the favour. 1.6 to Verstappen who gets past Piastri. We're going to try around the outside of Lando. Come on, Danny Rick. Lovely work, but this is just going to keep swapping between these two. Uh, talk about sabotage. I think something happened where Leclerc got more updates than Science. I'm not saying it happened, but it wouldn't blame Ferrari to do that because, well, Science was near the top. Table, but fell away. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Carlos was okay in Mexico, but um, yeah, what about that instant for Shah? That was a good save. He nearly completely lost it into the wall, didn't he, with Flando breathing down his neck? That was uh, definitely a brown pants moment for him. Uh, Jack Brannon, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. So we continue to battle away. Unfortunately, Piastri and Verstappen have squeezed back into the DRS here. Lawson is up to fifth. Let's take a closer. Look. So Lawson's back to uh, are, he's part of Alonso, but he's in his own little battle that's going to keep swapping there. and changing with Alonso and uh, Charles here. And well, this is definitely Lawson's that. strongest race of the season. And it looks at the moment a battle. Between four for this victory here in Miami, between Daniel Ricciardo, Lando Norris, Oscar Piastri and Max Verstappen. As Lando Norris is back on the inside, looks like Ricciardo's just going to hold on to that. But yeah, six seconds now back to Alonso in fifth. As I keep saying with the McLarens, they are going to have a bit of an issue when it rains though. Because they'll have to double stack or leave one out and they're going to lose time there. Right, so we are very close. Well, it doesn't say the rain is incoming quite yet, but it should be. In the next couple of laps, we should have rain. Norris has dropped two seconds off Piastri here. Is he having to manage those softs? Is he worried that the rain's not going to come and he's got to save a bit of tyre life, perhaps? Because Verstappen looks like he's going to sail past him. But of course, Norris, the only one on the soft tyres on the whole grid. Is that now going to cost him? Because we now have 2.4 seconds. Honestly, I don't think we can do much more. Uh, Piastri's at 50%, so Alonso 47. So some of these will have to be careful if the rain keeps getting delayed. And we keep an eye on the tire temperatures. We will keep an eye on tire temperatures. Okay. Uh, Verstappen, yeah, still hasn't got back to us though, has he? And there is a few gaps forming now. So Charles Leclerc's pulled a bit of a gap on Alonso and Lawson. Hamilton's still with us there. As they continue to battle. And Ricardo making his move again on Oscar Piastri here. I mean, the good thing for McLaren is they've now got that gap to double stack. Good. Not good news for us, but it's now, okay, what, five the, seconds uh, between Piastri wanna... and Norris. So they can double stack. We want to try and... Charge on that's fine. What I'm going to do here is just okay, save a bit of tyre because we don't want to bring Verstappen into it, though, if we can help it. As Lawson is getting past we'll Alonso again. again. These two are having a great little ding-dong, it looks like. Not that we're watching it because we're trying to manage uh, Ricardo out front. Liam Lawson is back into sixth place. So he's battling with Hamilton Alonso. So six to eighth is looking good for Lawson at the moment. Science's fault is getting worse as Ricardo's going to move back past Oscar Piastri here. Oscar will get us straight back here. Actually, he's going to get DRS there, so we don't want to. Charge off, charge off. 
and we have margin to push a little bit more on the tires. I just want to have a look at Science's issue. It's back, so he, he cleared that ERS issue, and now it's back. So Science will be very slow as well. It is getting darker on track, so I think the rain is very close. Lando is definitely now saving some tire life. He's dropped four seconds back on uh, Verstappen. Getting very dark now. Rain is going to start falling. Lando down to 36%. Okay. Leclerc has taken another second out of him as Daniel Ricciardo looking for the move on Charles here. We, uh, on Oscar, sorry. We've lost a bit of time there because okay. we were pushed out a little bit wide. Need to just stay in that DRS. Okay, for charge off now. Okay. Max is still within two seconds, so Max is not out of this. The rain, I think, is going to fall any second now. And there we go. We have rain. Uh, How rain. quickly uh, copy that. is it going to turn to wet here? Now this is the decision we've got. P1. Mm. Behind is Piastri. It is, it, is, it is falling quickly. I think we box this lap. It's gone to point 0.3 very quickly there. Mm, this is going to be make or break. Jack says next lap is nearly point 0.5 though. I think it will be very wet if we leave it. I'm going to risk it. Let's hope it's the right decision. Box, 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 box. Oh, well, that's not great, is it? Okay. What's happened uh, there? We've lost a good like... few seconds there. All right, we've got to hope this works for us. I think it'll be fine for Lawson. It's now going to cha change. By the time we're out, it's going to change to damp. 2.7, that's fine for us. Lawson in now. Possible P7. Where are these? Yeah, I feel maybe the next lap might have been the call, but it is now wet. The track is now damp. We need that old bog of hammer for Sam starting the pit Under lane again. Yeah, yeah pit. Us. Yeah, we did pit. It was really on the limit there. I think either lap you could have gone. The problem is we're going to burn these tyres up a little bit here. Because it's not completely wet. Currently P9. Here's Piastri. We've just got to hope that they're very slow now. 22 seconds off the lead. It's 21 seconds for a stop here. Gastry's not in yet. I've got to hope he's very slow around this final corner. Down to 21.6. Here we go. I've got to hope he's very, very slow getting around this corner. I think he is. I think it's timid. Timid Piastri there, he's in the pits. 20 seconds to Ricardo. Verstappen's in as well. Oh, we thought it was going to be close, but we're bogged down behind Alonso. You've got to make the move there, Ricardo. Oh, Danny Rick. On the Hamilton has pitted. That's poor from Danny Rick. I think that's going to cost us Alonso there. In the pit lane. Alonso in the pit lane. Piastri out. Here's Piastri. There's Ricardo. Yeah, we're going to lose out. Stappen is out. All right, we clear for Stappen. But we lose out to Piastri. I think it would have been close, but we got stuck behind Fernando Alonso there on his dry tyres. And try to cool down the tyres where you can. Really and we've burnt up. a bit of the tyre life up there as well. So, what, we're 10% worse off on the tyres. Okay. So, not worked out brilliantly for Lawson though. He's up to P5. So I think it's worked out better for Lawson. 
Right, here is Charles, though. Very close to us now. Yeah, we've got five seconds for Alonso, so as much as I like fifth place, I don't want to fight too hard and it cost us sixth, if that makes sense. So I'd rather use Charles and uh, get these tyres to the end of the race because sixth place would be very nice indeed for Lawson. It's starting to balance out now, that tyre life. As I say, we could do with just using the slipstream of Charles and... Uh, conserving a bit more it's this little dip here I'm worried about in lap 40 here we go then Charles Leclerc no DRS of course but he's slipstreaming down this back straight is he going to make a move I think he's too far back so Lawson continues for now Max Verstappen is within nearly two seconds of Ricardo now what are we doing? A 148.4. Lawson was going, yeah, four times quicker using a bit of the battery there. But Charles, very quick indeed. Is he going to make the move? Finally here. Charles Leclerc on the inside of Lawson. He does. That's been on the cards for a little while here. But we have now got that long straight. So I want to try a bit of the battery. But conserving a bit of tire life, see if that works. Obviously, we don't get the greatest of exits. Tire management will be very important. Got it. Uh, Norris only five seconds up the road on uh, this little battle. Okay, no more management. No, look, Charles, now he's cleared us. He's got good pace in that Ferrari. He's quicker than uh, he's quicker than Lawson. So I think really our battle is with Alonso and Hamilton behind us. But Ric Ricardo is going to be under immense pressure here. From Max Verstappen, I don't think there's much we can do. The tyre advantage is such a significant advantage to Max. We don't really have the tools to fight it. We've not got much battery either. We've got Ricardo on always defend, so he's trying his best. Needs to force him out a bit wide if he can. But look, 3% battery. That's not much Let's we can do. Go. We've got to just break later into this first corner if we can. Max is going to stay in there. Okay. They're side by side. Let's hope this doesn't end in tears here. Daniel Ricardo against his old teammate Max Verstappen. Danny Rick does not want to give up this P2. Max is still there on the rear axle. Alrighty. But nice. Danny Rick looks like he survived just about for Good now. Uh, Stephen, what season are you in? This is the second season, so round six of 2025. Right, Daniel Ricciardo survives for now. I am trying to fight... Ricardo harder than I did with Lawson and um, Charles. Kind of want Max to burn up his tyres a little bit. And here we go again then. I think I'm going to deploy a little bit out of here. Overtake available. Okay, understood. Yeah, Piastri has got this one in, in the bag though. If it continues like this... Oh yeah, 8% the tyre difference now. I wonder if anyone is worse than us. Not really. Lawson Ricardo, one of the worst drivers on the grid in terms of tyres, but... I'm going to harvest into this first corner, try and build a bit of battery life back up. All right, we've still got three seconds Lawson to Hamilton. Yeah, Max has stopped his uh, yeah, really pushing for now, I think. I've just gone through that phase, so it's now starting to uh, get wetter, but these tyres are not going to make it to the end of the race. They're not going to make it to the end. I don't know if anyone's going to make it to the end. We're going to have to box... 
We're going to have to box chat because this is not going to work. You have to box with box, both box. drivers, unfortunately. Yep, box confirmed. Uh, we thought that might happen with that um, that stint where it just got a little bit, not dry, yeah, but less, less wet, shall we say. Copy box. I think Max is going to struggle, you know. That's 18 laps. Copy. I think a lot of these are going to struggle. Eighteen laps, that's a long way to go. Piastri, Norris, Charles, maybe if they went conserve and light, but they'll be slow. I can't see Verstappen, Alonso and the rest of them getting to the end here. So we do have to stop again, but I think it hopefully will work out for us here. Daniel Ricciardo in away. the pit. Verstappen stays out. So if he has to pit, we're going to get a nice that's little undercut. We should be quicker as soon as we're out on these tyres. Just hoping Lawson doesn't get a puncture now. We should be all right. Come on, nice stop, please. Slow. It's slow. It's very slow. It's painfully slow. 6.5. That's four seconds okay. too slow. Uh, oh, that is not what we needed. So if anyone pits now, that okay, advantage will be lost in terms of this next lap. Focus on reaction time and no full throttle before pit exit. So Ricardo around P7. He's got a nice little gap here. P7. Piastri is not in, it's Verstappen in, Verstappen stays out, Norris stays out, Charles Leclerc is in, I'd expect Alonso, no, Alonso stayed out, 31%, madman, El Plan apparently. Where is Charles going to feed out in relation to Lawson, should still be ahead I'd imagine. There's only one lap. Yeah. And we're going to be behind Bottas and Russell here. Oh, this is not great for Lawson. And Ricardo's right behind oh, Hamilton. I'll leave you in your race now. Come on, Danny Rick. You need to be aggressive here. Okay, we need some deployed. Understood. Come on. Come on. We need this. We can't be held up too much here. That's it. There's Max. Verstappen pits. Copy. Cardo's right bogged down behind Alonso, though. Copy. Stop and received. It's a slow stop. Alonso just pitted. Balance out the advantage. Ricardo is going to be straight past. That's a very slow stop. And who's that having an issue in the pits? And Ricardo is going to be well clear. I think Charles Leclerc might even jump in. Oh no, that's Hamilton, isn't it? Actually, give me. I'm getting excited. Oh. It up. Lawson is clear of Bottas. Finally, is he going to jump Alonso here? He does, but Alonso was... Yeah, right. Let's let this all settle down. Right, so that for Stapp and long stop has helped us massively. What was last lap? 1.45. We're nearly two seconds quicker than Oscar Piastri. If Oscar, Oscar Piastri... We're 23... We're 24 seconds back. Oscar really needs to pit now to maintain that lead. If not... We might be challenging for the win again here. All right, change to damp. Now, this is where... Okay, maximum focus on cooling down those rear tires. Just want to check. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right, this is where we need to be careful with the tires. Piastri pit. Piastri pit. What is going on? Why now? What are McLaren doing? What are McLaren doing? Piastri pits. Lando will take the lead. Steven says Inters. That's bold if they've got an Inters. 
Uh, job. Hamilton's in the pits finally as well. Maybe that's what they are waiting for. And he has gone inters. So they were waiting for this dip. They were waiting for this little dip, but the wets will still be better for a few laps here. Now, for us, we may as well stay out on the wets because the challenge really is only Piastri. But this, of course, would be for the win. Well, I say the win. This would be for first place. This would be to lead the race. But it may be brief because I think Oscar Piastri is going to be pretty rapid soon on those inters. Overtake We've got high overtake here. Now, Lando, we should be able to get past him pretty quick. I'm surprised Lando's not come into the pits. Here we go, though. Daniel Ricciardo Norris easily passed Lando Norris. He leads the race here in Miami. Is Lando going to jump into the pits? No, he's, he's sticking out. Lando's going to the end on those tyres. That's brave. And really, there should be team orders there at McLaren asking Lando to get out of the way very, very quickly. For us, hopefully not. Hopefully, uh, he gets held up between this RB and Lando here. Oh, yes, that's what we like. Thank you very much. Lando Pitts. Well, McLaren are having a very odd strategy here. So Lawson will go up to P5, but will how far back will Lando be? And Piastri should be pretty rapid now. He's in clean air. We've got any more traffic coming up? We've got Joe. He's got to get past Hulkenberg. We've got Joe. We try to get some back markers in the way of this battle. All right, Norris is out. Yeah, I think he'll be coming back past Lawson pretty quickly. To be fair. Yeah, he's not. He's not far far behind at all. So, yeah, I think that one's going to be hard to. Uh, to keep for Lawson but P6 we certainly take that as Norris has got past Lawson as we expected so Lando now on those inters and that's the tyre to be on at the moment though Lawson stuck in there for as long as he could but Lawson is really just about bringing it home in P6 and he's got five seconds still on Alonso and Ricardo can he do anything here I don't think he really can so it looks like we're going to have to settle for P2 here. McLaren played it well on Piastri's part, to be fair. Held out just okay, enough time to get those inters on. Okay, understood. Four more laps. Okay, understood. They can go aggressive, yeah, but that will really burn ball. these tyres up. I don't think it's much point doing it, because... Uh, Oscar can go any way he wants. Please do not crash now. Oscar can crash. That'll be nice. Oscar's through. The dream comes to an end, but that was always going to be a hard fight. McLaren, to be fair, they had the advantage up the track, so he could have pitted early on wets and still had a good advantage or left it late and gone on to the inter. So they had the luxury of doing that. But we have got 10 seconds on Max Verstappen, so we can just bring the car home. Oscar Piastri looks like he's going to score a nice win here for McLaren. Like Hamilton is there. Where's that come from? Is Hamilton on Inters? Yes, he is. That's fine. Well, it's not fine because we're losing a place, but... I thought he was going to be too far back to get Lawson. Lawson's down to 31%. Oh, God, this is all going wrong. Please do not get a puncture here. Norris is six seconds behind. Oh my goodness. One more to go. Okay. We're slower than the RBs. We're trying. Don't crash into us. You can keep the pace up on this compound. Two seconds for Alonso. We've still got to do another lap with Lawson. He's down to 28%. Oh, God. Copy. Norris will get Max. Norris has got Max. Norris might get Danny Rick at this rate. You can use the take. Yeah. Our tyres are absolutely crispy out there. Norris is 3.8. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is not what you need. 
both at risk of a puncture now as well. Please don't end in tears. Oh. Alonso is going to be very close to Lawson here. Oh dear. Norris 2.6 behind Ricardo. I'm keeping it on the battery. Uh, you okay. watch any football I do? I'll respond to you in a second, Stephen. Let me, uh, let me just see this out. Denny Alonso will get him. Don't say that, Denny. There's Lando Norris in the background. Oscar Piastri's won by 16 Piastri seconds to Ricardo, it. as He's is the drop off from Ricardo. But Ricardo, although it's only going to be about a second from Lando Norris in the Copy. end. Daniel Ricardo is going to achieve P2 in Miami. Where is okay, Fernando we'll Alonso? He's still a second back on Lawson, but Lawson's tyres could blow up at any moment here. Good job. No battery, no tyre, no nothing That's for Lawson. And Williams Pretty undertaking uh, back, uh, unlapping we'll himself. At the bridge, it will be P1 on P0. Alonso's all over the back of us here. Is Alonso going to try and drag us to the line? I don't think he's going to have enough, is he? Lawson does it. Okay, that's P7. Seven. Wow, that got a bit twitchy at the end. But it is P2 for Daniel Ricciardo. It's another podium. And it's P7 for Liam Lawson. His best result of the season. And more valuable points for us well, in potentially our battle with Aston Martin later in the season as we drop off. But what a result for Ricciardo and Lawson. You've got to give a like on the stream for that one. Here he is. As I always say, Daniel Ricciardo's living on in this multiverse, in our universe. Double podium for McLaren. Oscar dominated really in the end. But Danny Rick, he too for Team Lotus. a hot and sweaty Miami Grand Prix, I think this is as good a time as any. Hot and sweaty, I'm hot and sweaty. That was getting a bit twitchy for me in the end. So race results, Oscar Piastri wins it. Daniel Ricciardo secures a podium. Did start on pole, but we are very happy with P2. Lando Norris third, Max Verstappen fourth, Lewis Hamilton fifth, Charles Leclerc sixth, Liam Lawson seventh, so he finished where he started. Fernando Alonso eighth, George Russell ninth. Valtteri Bottas got knocked out in Q2, the world championship leader. He does go up five places, but it's only a point for Valtteri. So does he still lead the championship after this one? Um, and no real surprises down here. And we had the early retirement of Gasly and Ocon. Drivers Championship. So Bottas does still lead at seven points. But that's because we had a sprint as well. So uh, Bottas is still leading. Max in second. So gains 10 points. It's not that significant. But Oscar Piastri. Big gains for him across this sprint weekend. 32. So he's within one of Max. And uh, not too far back. 29 points. If that's quick mass on Valtteri Bottas. Lando Norris fourth. Charles Leclerc fifth. Lewis Hamilton 6th, Daniel Ricciardo up to 7th, 58 points already after 6 races, he got 13 I think in all of 2024, Carlos Sainz no points, had ERS issue, he's down to 8th place, and George Russell ninth. Fernando Alonso 10th, and Liam Lawson takes a good chunk of points, he's now on to 10 points in 11th, and K-Mag 12th, the rest of the drivers yet to score. Uh, McLaren now lead the Constructors' Championship, so a great haul of points, 52. So they're uh, into first place. They lead Mercedes, and due to, well, really, Bottas getting knocked out to Q2 and only gaining a point. So it's McLaren, then Mercedes, and then Red Bull, then Ferrari. So still relatively close between these top four. We get a really good haul of points ourselves to go on to 68 points. As I say, I think we're battling Aston Martin. Although we're ahead now, our design work will drop off. So Aston may come back at us later in the season. So we need to gain as many points as we can. And that brings this one to an end. What a weekend. And uh, as I say, got very close towards the end of that Miami race with our tyres absolutely shot. And the McLarens on the Inters, of course, Oscar Piastri got past and won the race. But um, yeah, Lando nearly got Danny Rick another lap. And we would have lost second place. But it is second place for Daniel Ricciardo. Two second places back to back in full races. And of course, a very special sprint race victory in the middle of it all. So what a weekend for us. And it's looking good across the next few races until, as I say, we stop that design work. So let's see how we can go in the next few races but if you got all the way to the end, I know this is a bit of a longer episode, so I really, really do appreciate the support. And if it's not too much more to ask for, please do like the video and we'll be back for the next episode in this Team Loaded series very soon.